say so myself. This book, it's okay to be angry about capitalism, is a very good book. And it's a good book because it asks questions and provides answers that very few people on that road. It asks simple questions like, what does it mean in American society when three people who move out from the bottom half of our country and the capital can be very, very rich and everybody else is going on? What does it mean when you've got a handful of Wall Street firms controlling assets of over twenty trillion dollars, which is the equivalent of the GDP of America? What does it mean when you have billionaires able to spend unlimited sums of money in a corrupt political process buying and selling politicians? And I will tell you what it means. It means that we are moving rapidly into an oligarchic form of society where a small number of incredibly wealthy people control our economy, control our political life, and control our media. But this book is not just a criticism of modern-day capitalism. What it also does is provide a blueprint of how we can go forward into the future and create a nation, an economy, a government which works for all of us and not just a few.